Hey YouTube, I've been on the hunt for a way to have an app on my phone that would allow me to use the phone, my iPhone 11's camera, front or back, without any of the Chrome overlays, the, the frame rates, the previous pictures, just as a webcam basically. And thanks to my friend on the internet, Dave Mosher, and in real life I guess, but thanks to my friend Dave, uh, he pointed me in the direction of an app that he uses as well, and I wanted to just show you, my YouTube channel folks, the app and how easy it is to use. Oh, and the best part is it's free and not even free, like guilts you into buying some stuff, but just a free app, which I don't know. doesn't happen anymore. The only other stuff I've been able to find that does this is stuff that's like 10 to $20. And it's just a simple thing of using the phone's existing camera and not putting anything on the screen. So I feel like there's a market for this in the two to $5 range with a bit more customization options. If you wanted to build something like that, that'd be awesome. Hint. Okay, so I've got, uh, I'm using Ecamm Live, which I normally would use to say live stream. And, uh, and in my scenes here, I've got the iOS screen share. So my phone is plugged in to the computer with the lightning USB cable thingy. And I switch to that normally. And then you see my phone and I can swipe through the apps. Cool beans. But uh, this little app called full screen cam something or other uh, is sitting there and tap that. And then you've got a lovely view of my shirt. And I'm just gonna turn this thing off, the overlay. But that's it. No chrome, nice wide angle shot, full camera. It's actually got a setting on it. Uh, if I press and hold on the screen, you should see it on there, yeah. You can turn off safe area and then go back to the camera. You'll see that it actually, because of the iPhone's 11s uh, and uh, XR's and whatever's uh, camera, I can't get this right. <laughs> I won't bother. Because of the camera overlay in the top corner, you don't want that necessarily showing. So you can have safe area being full screen or just the safe area. And then you can also choose front camera or back camera. So right now I've got front, so I can choose the back camera. Boom. Then I've got a nice, even better camera uh, in use that I could use and show you around my room. I could have it set up like, you know, off in the corner, uh, hanging out with, where am I here? Hanging out with Bono and company back there. Maybe if I had a guest sitting on the couch, playing guitar, admiring those sound panels, you know, the usual stuff you do on a live stream. But for my personal stuff, uh, probably just using it on the front camera. So that's it. It's that easy to use. Very simple. It's awesome. It's free. Check it out. As always, if you've got questions or comments about any of the audio related or video stuff for Mac, for streaming, anything like that, I'd love to see them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them in a future video. And uh, I've got a loopback video coming soon. Hopefully it answers a lot of your questions about loopback. So watch for that. Hit the subscribe, the bell, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.